Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail community news, through hiker update, and trail information. Well, bubbles out there, they're going like crazy. We are kind of at the peak of where folks are, when folks are leaving from Amicola Falls or Springer or what have you. And so just another couple weeks and we'll be on the downhill slide of that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Let's go ahead and talk about who's out there on the trail. So we got OG. Who's OG? OG is Og. So finally got corrected on his trail name. Got corrected by last year's through hiker, my old hiking buddy, uh, come along and come along was uh, hiked with uh, OG and his wife, Mrs. OG, through the Roan Mountain Highlands. So one of our favorite sections through there, and he wanted to hike it with him. And, and of course, OG is from our hometown. Come along knows him well, and so there you are. They got to go up there hiking. So uh, he made it through uh, the Highlands, of course, and uh, he is on his way to. Uh, continuing on into Tennessee. Uh, they did say that the barn was still standing up there and they got a picture here. So here's a photo of the barn and uh, with OG and Miss OG and come along in it uh, as they uh, took a break there at the, uh, used to be the Over Mountain Shelter, of course, ATC, the National Forest Service and the trail club through there have decided it's not worth saving and they're gonna tear it down and push it over in a hole. So. Uh, did get a chance though to stop there and look at that awful historic and really unique shelter on the site. It's a dang shame that uh, they got to tear it down and it couldn't be saved. But uh, that's the way things go. Uh, Jeff and Maya, they should be in Delville, Virginia sometime around Monday. Uh, they said that uh, they have crossed paths with Stella and Coyote at Woods Hole and they also met Believer and Rainbow. And they said they're meeting more and more section hikers out there. They said the trail seems to be really busy. Of course, we're starting to get into some decent weather, uh, although we had some terrible storms this past weekend. But all in all, we're starting to get into some warmer temperatures where you're going to see more and more day hikers out there. They said there was plenty of blowdowns coming from uh, the Marion area. Uh, so that's to be expected this time of year. A lot of blowdowns that where the trail maintainers have not got a chance to get in there where they've come down since spring and all the storms. And it's been, we've had a really wet winter here in the east. And so, you know, when you get a wet uh, wet winter like that, then the ground softens up and it doesn't take much for big old trees to go over, particularly those that are reaching the end of their life expectancy and the tap roots are gone and uh, a lot of the other roots are gone. And so they just up in themselves and wind up being a blowdown. Uh, they did get a chance to see the goats that are up there on the ridge above Parisburg. So those goats have been up there at least for the last couple of hiker seasons. And um, really all they do is uh, as long as you don't stop and take a break there, they won't do you any kind of harm. Probably won't do you any harm anyway. They might chew your pack or something. Uh, but other than that, they kind of stay in that general vicinity up there. Uh, popcorn, cup of tea, and hold fast. They have made it to Damascus. Patriarch, he is now back on trail and has made it to the knock. Uh, he did say there was no cables at Wea and two of them at Wesser Bald Shelter are uh, non-functional. He also, uh, he had gotten off trail and he's gotten back on now and he'd gotten off for an extended period, got back on, said it is good to be back among the hiker community. Uh, firsties, they have crossed into Massachusetts today. So the firsties is our uh, teacher with her virtual hike with her classroom and she's teaching them all about, uh, you know, the basic fundamental fundamentals of reading, writing, and arithmetic, and she's using the trail to do that. And so uh, they've been virtually hiking, and they have made it to Massachusetts. So congratulations to them. Uh, YOLO, he has made it to Damascus, and he reports that Stinger, Caps, and Kodiak are on their way out of Damascus. Tupac and Mama Nita, they have finished the Smokies and are on their way to Hot Springs. Bubbles is north of Hot Springs. Bell Out has rejoined Greyhound. And uh, they are hiking the Smokies, and they have had quite the experience, the full Smokies experience. So they've hit 70 degrees, rain, snow, wind chills at zero. Actually, I saw the wind chills were like negative one while they were there. They've had several falls. Uh, they had to catch a ride for, for whatever reason. They were at Clingman's Dome, and I guess it was due to weather. They need to catch a ride out of there. 
to get off, uh, get out of the Smokies, go take a break, and just maybe miss some bad weather. They caught a ride with the Rangers because the uh, the road from Newfound Gap up to Clingman's Dome is closed this time of year, and so it doesn't open somewhere till around April 1st, uh, weather permitting. So they caught a uh, a ride down into Gatlinburg, took a couple zeros to recover from from falls down there, and now they are back on. Uh, trail and finishing up the Smokies. Maverick Goose and Dang Bird, they are on their way to Hot Springs and they have finished the Smokies, of course. Trash Hiker, he has made it to the quarterway tree. So that is awesome. Congratulations to him. You know, I've often wondered the trail changes. So the quarterway tree is either they move it every year or it's inaccurate. You let me know what they do down below in the comments. They don't change the sign because it's always on that same tree. Now, Frodo, he has made it to Damascus. DJ, he has made it on trail along with 12 others that are all hiking in one big group together. I don't think it started out that way, but because so many people started on that day, DJ's got a group of people. DG has made it to Hot Springs. This must be the year of the, initial, of the trail names as initials. You know, we got OG, DG, DJ, uh, D-O-B, so <laughs> a lot of different initials out there. Gadget, he has made it to North Carolina and the 100-mile mark, so huge, uh, two big milestones for there, making that first 100 miles and make get that first state behind you, crossing that first border, so that's awesome, Gadget. Picnic is around the knot. Hiram Hikes, he should be near Hot Springs. Cobweb Rose have made it to North Carolina along with her family, of Snapshot, Mountain Crusher, and Lucky. And so she's from North Carolina, and Cobweb Rose uh, has walked home. Of course, she's got to keep on going. She's got a long ways to go. Jersey and DOB, they are coming in to Erlin, er Irwin, Renegade, Early Bird, and Churro. They are on their way to Fontana. Boston has made it to Damascus, and McDuck, the Oki, and Jeff from Kansas will be exiting the Smokies sometime today. Uh, maybe have already exited. So those are the folks that have reported into us that are out there on trail. If you're on trail and you want to be a part of the updates, then you can go down below and uh, find uh, all the links to send me where you are, how things are going on the trail. Give me some trail information for those that are behind you about blowdowns or trail conditions, what have you. Uh, and if you'd like to be on my support list, then the way to do that is, is down in the description below. There's a link to do that, and also the link to the actual support list is down below as well. Now, we had a few folks that have gotten off trail uh, over the past week. Walkabout got off due to just not being able to eat enough calories, so uh, Walkabout indicated that they got off there at Unicoi Gap, so that's pretty early to be concerned about calories. However, if you can't do it, you can't do it. A lot of people uh, get off trail because they can't consume enough calories and so they get really weak and they just can't make the hills and stuff. So uh, walkabouts out and then Hey Now and Diet Coke, they are off trail permanently as well. Uh, hey Now had some foot issues um, due to some medication he was taking and then of course foot issues from the trail and all those combined, he just, uh, just felt like it was not gonna work out all the way to Maine so he stopped while he was down here in the south. If you get off trail, please let us know. We worry about you, particularly those folks that do not post to social media. Uh, and when we stop seeing your posts, we wonder what happened to you. So be sure to let me know about that. I'll let other folks know. You don't have to tell me why if you don't want to. Just a simple, I'm off trail and I'm not coming back. I'll be fine. So uh, some folks that are starting next week to get on trail from my support list are Andrea Dean, Marshall Parker, Keith Evac. Smoke, Daniel Clark, Dan Sharp, Judy Robart, uh, Desert Queen and Mr. Rook, Patrick, and Copter. So all those folks are starting down at Amicola Falls State Park, do the approach trail, or they're starting at Springer. And all those are on my support list. You can go to that support list. Like I said, that link's down in the description and find their social media there and then go and give them a at a boy, at a girl, or at a they, or at a whatever, at a hiker all the way throughout the course. Keep them pumped up and uh, let's just keep them going. And that means a lot for them to, for people to go and support them online like that. 
So registrations right now we've had, we were at least number 1,632 that have a bag tag number that have stepped off on the trail. And that was a, as of yesterday. So we're past that as of today. Uh, but somewhere north of 1,632 have left from Springer. Uh, registrations with the ATC, uh, no bow, we went up 48 to 2,843. Uh, we gained another 11 flip floppers up from 179 uh, or 2,179. And then Sobo, we gained four more Sobos up to 119. So, so far, we've got 3,141 hikers that are registered with the ATC for Nobo, Sobo, or Flip Flops. That's 63 more than we had last week when we were at 3,078. Uh, so a little uh, historica data. Uh, of course, 3,141 this year. Last year at this time, we were at 3,695. So we're down a fair amount from last year, somewhere around 550-ish. Can't do math on the fly that good, but somewhere like that. And then uh, in this same time in 2021, we were at 2,980. So we were gaining, and now we've gone down. That trend has continued throughout this whole uh, season there. So kind of expected since 2022 was kind of a banner year to a lot of folks that had to pin up demand due to COVID. Uh, so they came out and either and, and took their hikes that were – they couldn't take them during the COVID season. So before we get to some news, I want to welcome a new Patreon member. That's Dennis Newton. Thank you, Dennis, for becoming a Patreon member. Uh, and then also super thanks from John Laycock and a huge thank you from Joy Maryland 2, a.k.a. Sky King. So Sky King has been a subscriber of mine from back in the day, so three years ago or more or so. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, my videos were a little less quality than they are now, I guess. Um, and uh, wasn't used to talking on to a camera instead of a person. But in any case, uh, he has hung in there the whole time. And Sky King is a great example of the trail community, how small a community is, but how the trail provides. So uh, Sky King has been a subscriber for years, has been a commenter leaves comments on a regular basis for years, and I finally got to meet him in the real world at Trail Days last year. So that was pretty neat to come up and uh, share a PBR with him and just sit there and chat about trail and just life in general. Um, and then, so keep that thought in your mind. I had hiked a couple years ago with a lady who her uh, trail name, and she got this trail name while we were on the trail for this particular section hike, is Ghost. And so uh, Ghost um, had been a subscriber or watching my channel for some time. And as I always do when I get ready to go do a section hike, I just put it out there. Anybody wants to come, come on out. Well, she decided to take me on, up on it, and so she came out and hiked with Phoenix and I. Now, put a pin in that. Of course, my buddy Come Along, who has been my hiking partner for about two years now, he did his through hike last year. So now we're going to show you how the trail community is, how it's small, and, and how the trail provides. So unbeknownst to me and no involvement for me no uh no connection to me at all but ghost and sky king got together somehow and decided they were going to hike the 100 mile wilderness last year and so they did that and who do you think they ran into on his through hike at a ball bridge uh and and actually they were i think they were also out on ran, actually ran into them on the trail but that's my hiking partner come along on his through hike so that is awesome it just shows you how the trail community gets knitted together and what a very special community it is so all three of them come from all different walks of life doesn't matter we're all equal out there on the trail and it was just really neat to see uh two three friends of mine and and particularly come along and goes to I've hiked with uh, all of a sudden coming together out there on the trail. So I just wanted to share that with you. That's just really neat how connections are forged that the trail puts together. Uh, so some news out there in the category of how the AT will kill you. Renegade, Early Bird, and Churro almost got took out by a huge tree at the Way of Bald Shelter. And I'm not talking about a dead man like you think of a dead man 
being up in, you know, up, up in the top of a tree or a limb that's getting ready to fall out that's attached to a tree but it's just rotten. I'm talking about a whole tree that came down and wiped out the, uh, apparently wiped out their bear bags. I'm assuming they were on the cables, uh, but almost wiped out their tents with them in it. So this was when we had the big storm that came through, a lot of wind storms a couple days ago. And, you know, you go into these shelter sites and you kind of expect to be safe, but there is nothing safe uh, out there on the, uh, on the AT that, um, that you, you got to look out for uh, things that are unsafe. So I take it back. There's plenty of safety out there on the AT, but there are some things that are unsafe. And one of the big ones of those are uh, dead mans and, and blowdowns. Blowdowns are going to come down sometime. Uh, you know, it's kind of like I went caving with my son and you go into this huge room and it's got a huge ceiling. There's all these rocks down below and you're walking on them and you look up and you go, you know, at some time, uh, what created this room, this dome, was those rocks falling down and they had to fall down sometime. So is more going to fall down while I'm in here? Well, the same thing can happen on the trail. A blowdown can come down. You just never know, uh, particularly in windstorms. So a couple things. Uh, one, if you can get off the trail when you're expecting some really bad, really windy weather, that would be a good plan to do that. Um, there's even windstorms that come through that, that where the knockover trees and they blow on top of shelters and they damage shelters. And had you been in that shelter that you would have possibly suffered injury or they come down on your tent. So, you know, you just need to watch the weather, expect that, and just be careful whatever you can do out there. Certainly before you set up your tent, you need to look up above you and see if there's anything hanging up in a tree. Now, if you see a full-size tree on the, you know, there's, there's and, and you look at it and you just don't expect it to break off uh, like this one did there for them at, at the Way of Bald Shelter. So um, there's nothing you can do about that, but but do what you can to be, uh, to be safe out there. Another word about blowdowns, particularly those that come across on the trail, you know, a lot of people hike around them, and a lot of times you can't go through them. You have to do that. Uh, going through them, you risk an injury, getting caught on something, ripping your equipment or something, and then going around them is also you're not on the trail, so you risk an injury. Uh, and then uh, you also create another trail that goes around it, causing erosion and rutting up problems. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, the trail maintainers, there's not enough population for them to get out there and quickly take care of every blowdown. So do the best you can about, about not rutting up the trail around it, but also do the best you can about not getting injured getting around those blowdowns. And we added some more people to the church sign-up. So the church sign-up list is just a, a place where churches can go uh, and they can sign up if they want to uh, pick up uh, hikers at trailheads and bring them into church or if, if hikers would like to go to church, churches that will do that, maybe give them a shower, help them resupply, maybe a place to tent in the yard somewhere. And so there have been um, several churches that have signed up, so I greatly appreciate that. Not a lot. I'm, I was hoping to get a whole lot more of that. Uh, so this is you know, not necessarily just Protestants. Uh, so any church can sign up for this list. That link is down below, as is the uh, link to get to the church list there. But I wanted to mention two that we added from last week, and that's the Elizabethan Christian Ministry, Christian Missionary and Alliance Church in Elizabethan, uh, Tennessee. And they say you can camp in, your, in their yard. They have a shower, ride to town for meals and resupply, and, of course, church services. Uh, on Sundays. I'm not sure about they didn't mention Wednesdays. And then Valley View Baptist Church and Sugar Grove, Virginia, they have signed up. So again, they are camping, resupply, church services on Sunday and Wednesday. So go to that list. You'll see the trailhead where and information where you can contact somebody to come and pick you up and get you to church uh, if you're so inclined to do that. And then there are a few things, announcements that came out from the ATC that are a little further up the trail that right now are not concerned for most people. None of them are shutting down the trail or none of them, you know, we've got some burns coming up. We've got some construction, uh, highway construction going on where you're coming underneath the highway and you're going to have to wait on the workers there to give you clearance to come across. But none of that uh, is, uh, is going to close down the trail or anything else. 
Uh, again, thank you for the uh, the Patreon member, uh, Doug Snooton, and also for uh, the super thanks there. If you're interested in either of those in supporting this channel, uh, the super thanks is right down below the below the video down here and of course the patreon link is on my banner or it's down in the description section if you'd like to become a member of that all these things as well as your comments and your thumbs up and your subscriptions all those help this channel uh, and they uh, the main thing is i'm all about and this channel is all about getting out there the hiker community helping the hiker community and so all of those things uh help me do my part to help the hiker community i, I kind of I guess people have said I'm like a trail angel from home. Unfortunately, I can't be out there on the trail giving out uh, on the trail, giving out food, but I can do what I do from here. And so uh, hopefully it makes a difference. I have told people have said it makes a difference. And so that's what I'm all about is giving back to the hiker community. All right, folks, that's all I got this week. As always, appreciate you, and we'll see you out here.